Hi there, welcome to my two and a half year review of my PowerTap P1s, which I bought uh, in July 2017. Uh, on the time trial circuit, I realised lots of people were training with power, it seemed to be um, providing great benefits. At the time, I was just running off heart rate, so I decided I wanted to take the plunge. To cut a long story short, I decided to go for a pedal based system because I could easily switch it between the bikes. Um, and I ended up going for the PowerTap P1s for one reason or another. The functionality of the pedal has been brilliant. They seem to provide consistent readings uh, and the feedback and information you get from a power meter, you know, really uh, is really useful in training terms and performance terms. These are pretty simple to change over. Um, you just need an Allen key, pop them off, pop them on, and then you connect through uh, either, an, it used to be an Apple app, uh, but now they're run by SRAM. So there is the SRAM AXS app, so you can connect to the pedals through that and do things like calibrations, which is really useful. You can also calibrate them through your head unit on your Garmin as well, if you need to. Um, needless to say, this pair of pedals are not the same pedals that I bought in 2017. Um, I'd had these for nine months. I was using them on every bike. So I was using them on winter bike, I was using them on my summer bike and on my race bike because I wanted to get the full benefit of what I'd paid for essentially. Within nine months, the bearings went. So I took them back to Evans where I got them from. Evans sent them back to, I think it might have been Paddy Gap at the time. And about four weeks later, I received a brand new pair of power taps which I was absolutely flabbergasted at because it just looked to me like the bearings had gone. I thought surely they're replaceable, but at the time, there didn't seem to be anything in place for replacing the bearings, so a new pair I got. Uh, Evans explained to me though that the 12 month warranty they come with only ran from the original purchase date, so if the same thing happened again, they'd be out of warranty. And guess what? Nine months later, the bearings went again. So I went back to Evans and explained what had happened and then they put me in touch with the guys at Cycle Power Meters. So I had to send them off to Cycle Power Meters. And fortunately, I suppose, Cycle Power Meters were able to help me out. They replaced the bearings, the axles, the end caps, pretty much everything. But it did cost me £160 because it was out of warranty. However, Cycle Power Meters give a 12 month warranty with that, with that work. Um, so if you like, the, the warranty was kind of extended. Sure enough, nine months later, the right hand bearing went, but then I got a problem with the left pedal. Now the right hand pedal is just a slave and the left hand pedal is the master. So that was kind of an issue really. The red and the green warning lights came on and I began to lose connectivity. I went on all the online forums. I tried all sorts to get them working again. I've only ever used the uh, the right batteries, the lithium batteries with them. I put new batteries in, I tried to do hard resets, but whatever I did, it just didn't work. So I sent them back off to cyclepowermeters.com again. Um, I got a phone call two weeks later to explain that the bearing would be covered under warranty and that was fine. But the news that I kind of been dreading was that the left hand pedal was dead. At that point, I was thinking this could get really expensive. But what they did for me, and this was brilliant, was they gave me a refurbed left pedal, similar condition to the one that I'd had, uh, and then reconnected it to the right, and it only cost £100. So the bearings were replaced in both pedals, uh, all that was done under warranty, and I got a new left-hand pedal. Um, and so I've got them back, and they're back on the bikes, and uh, I, I'm up and running again. Uh, I don't regret buying the power taps. As I said at the beginning, the information, the data they give has been really, really accurate. And it's been really useful. And I think it certainly helped me to improve my performance. Having said that, looking back now, I kind of wish I'd gone for the Favaro Asiomas. They'd only just come out at the time when I first bought these, um, but they seem to be, reputation-wise, the best um, pedal based power meter on the market. Uh, the guys at Cycle Power Meters have said that they seem to be the most reliable. They don't get those back as often. Bear in mind that I do use these for everyday riding. I don't see the point of spending all that money on a power meter and then not using it, which is the route I decided to go down. I don't regret it. It's usable. The great thing is everything's serviceable. If something goes wrong with it, then the chances are it can be sorted out and you can carry on using them. So, 
I keep on using them, no doubt sending them back for bearings to cyclepowermeters.com. Uh, anyway, hope you found this useful if you're in the market for power meters. If you can pick a pair of these up second hand, then probably a worthwhile buy. They're a bit big, uh, they're a bit clunky. The newer versions, uh, they look pretty much the same except they're a silver body. I believe they've played about with the internals rather than the outside, um, which who knows might be a bit of a mistake. Like I said, I'd probably go to the Asiomas now, looking at the reputation they seem to be building. Anyway, hope it's been of use to somebody. Thanks for watching.